hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x minus 1 to the power of 4 and its whole square root is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for the values of x so here uh, first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root um, so i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and here first we write our radical expression into the exponential form so for this we know that uh, the radical sign is equals to 1 divided by 2 so we replace this radical sign by 1 over 2 and after replacing this it will be written as x minus 1 to the power of 4 and its whole power is 1 over 2 is equals to 1 and here further we use the nice exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this rule of exponents we multiply these two exponents and after multiplication of these two exponents it will be written as x minus 1 to the power of 4 multiplied by 1 over 2 is equals to 1 and now you see here these are cancelled out by each other and we get 2 times 2 becomes 4 and we obtain here x minus 1 whole square is equals to 1. So further in the next step uh, we need to move uh, this one to the left hand side and it will be written as x minus 1 whole square minus 1 is equals to 0. So here we write uh, this one as one square because we know that uh, one square is also equals to one. And now here uh, we use this nice uh, algebraic formula. You know about that if we have x square minus y square is equals to x minus y times of x plus y. So according to this, you see here the base of this term is our x and the base of this term is our y. So we just substitute these two values of x and y into the below formula. So uh, our below formula is written as first we have x minus y. The value of uh, x is this x minus 1. Okay. So this is the value of x and we substitute it here. It will become x minus 1 minus the value of y is 1 into x plus y. Again the value of x is x minus 1 plus y is plus 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here we need little bit simplification and now we add or subtract the like terms we have. This is x minus and minus 1 minus 1 becomes minus 2. This is the positive and negative term are gone and we get here x and this whole equation is equals to 0. And further in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write x minus 2 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x is equals to 0. So from here we easily get the value of x is equals to 2 because here 2 be the negative term which is lies into the left hand side when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes positive. So here we get the value of x is equals to 0. So you see that we get two values of x uh, 0 and 2 uh, and now here in the next steps we need to verify that is these two values are solution or these two values are extraneous root. So for verification of the roots, we need to copy down given question statement here and it is x minus 1 to the power of 4 and its whole square root is equals to 1. And further in this side, we will be verify x is equals to 0 and in this side, we will be verify x is equals to 2. Uh, so here first, we need to verify x is equals to 0. So when we put x is equals to 0 into the left hand side, uh, so our left hand side is written as square root of 0 minus 1 to the power of 4 is equals to 1 or not. This is the our claim. And we have this is 0 minus 1 becomes minus 1 to the power of 4 and its whole square root is equals to 1 or not. And we know about that. Uh, when we have uh, the base is negative sign and its exponent is an even number so our base will becomes 
positive okay so minus 1 to the power of even number becomes plus 1 and its whole square root is equals to 1 or not and we know about that square root of 1 is equals to 1 so this shows that both of the sides are equal it means that the value of x is equals to 0 is satisfied over given question statements so uh, this is the uh, first solution of the given equation and now here we need to verify the second value of x and it is x is equals to 2 so now we substitute x is equals to 2 into the left hand side and it will be written as square root of 2 minus 1 to the power of 4 is equals to 1 and here we have 2 minus 1 becomes 1 to the power of 4 and its whole square root is equals to 1 and we know about that 1 to the power of 4 becomes square root of 1 is equals to 1 and square root of 1 becomes 1 equals to 1 so this shows that again both of the sides are equal so this means that the value of x is equals to 2 is also satisfied our given question statement so finally we have the solution set of the given question is 0 and 2 so these are the two solution set of the given question and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos